Hi y'all, it's Kate at Kate's Garden Chicken and Cat Rambles and I'm standing inside the coop. I put a little curtain here to give them some little more privacy and that does privacy all three of these favorite nest boxes. This was of a lance that went to that curtain, which I'm going to cut down here in a minute. I might not even do it today. I don't want to crawl back there. I've got my Crocs on, but I'm decided I'm old Crocs. I'm going to have to start. I'll just put socks on or whatever and actually work in Crocs. I put on my rain boots earlier yesterday and worked and my hiking boots and they all just kill my heels and then I can't walk for, you know, an afternoon. So the Crocs, which I was not a Croc fan in the beginning, but I am now because they're the only thing I can walk on, walk in with my high arches that never make my feet hurt. I do have a pair of like Tiva, um, you know, kind of those woven canvas like hiking sandal shoes. They're fairly comfortable. They're not bad, but they're not for working. So here's everybody getting out of the rain. So I totally forgot what I was yabbering about earlier. But anyway, this is the tarp that I cut the bottom off here. I fixed it so that this upper corner stays closed in, open the side back up. So this is the north side, you know, in the morning there'll be some, some uh, uh, sun, but I wanted to make them feel a little more private in their nest box. The back side of the nest box is open too, to the chain link on the other side, but they have curtains too. So air can get through, but not a lot of light or, you know, nothing could, do you mind? Could reach you and Anna. You're getting locked out of here. He's a freaking fighter. Oh my God, you're such a jerk face. So anyway, that way, nothing could like reach in and grab a chick or egg. But all around the bottom of this coop too, besides the chain link, I'm trying to lock this so he can't come in here. But you need to bite my ankles, jerk face. Um, is chicken wire up to my waist so nothing can get it in and you know you would have to have really really long go-go gadget arms that's going to reach through here and grab anybody it probably could try a raccoon could try so i have a few some scrap of this so i might on this side along here put up um some chicken wire just along there maybe i haven't over the past few years you know the the birds or up higher, they're fine. I'm just being a helicopter mom, so. She's sitting on the egg, I left her on it, it's her own egg. Yeah, I got your green egg today already. So they got some new nesting material, it's the pink and white stuff. It's got rose petals and I cleaned these two out just because, you know, I had the rooster who was on the sitting there on an egg. No one's laid in it since the egg he was sitting on, but they have access to it, so. I come out and I start doing stuff and it starts raining. So I go in and it immediately stops. So I come back out and it starts raining again. Can't win for losing in this scenario here. But anyway, so I totally cleaned out the honeymoon hut. My first video shows them they were behind the fence. I'd locked the gate hoping to keep them in there when it started pouring rain, but no. She, they were complaining because they're such but loose and fancy free chickens. So a lot of the, the bedding that was in there was more of what I had in there for just insulation to hold their, his heat for the winter. I mean, there was some right under the roof that was poopy, but I raked the, the heavy, you know, thick poopy stuff out weekly. So this was just the winter bedding. It was piled up neatly there, but you know, no such thing as a neat pile around chickens. So some of it I have pushed up against the bottom of this tree to kill out some weeds and stuff that are growing around the bottom of it. And the rest of it, and you know, let it mulch down there. They already dig holes. That just was my thinking today, but I'm now looking at it. I think I'm just still gonna just scrape it all out. I'll put it in my little, my bin there and you go dump it. This, I need Paul to help me. Maybe this weekend I can talk him into it. I've been asking and asking to lift this out of here. That go, go back to the trash, go back to the scrap pile because I can 
dismantle that old door. This, it's really heavy, it's wet. I bet you there's spiders, who knows what's in there. It could be poisonous spiders. I'm tempted just to leave that and let grass grow up around it and let it just become, until we move, just let it, part of it's dry rotting. Picking up is gonna be, you're gonna have to have strong hands, a strong back, and not afraid of creepy crawlies, I think. And that's not me, and that's not Paul. Well, Paul's got strong hands, strong back, but he's not a creepy crawly fan either. So I may just let that sit there like a big giant stone. The chickens can stand on it. Uh, grass, I'll let the grass grow up around it. You know, maybe eventually, you know, who knows, put a pallet on it, put something over it, I don't know. But for this summer, at least, I'm not moving it unless I can get Paul to move it. He may get a little hair up his butt if I get him to move this pa pallet and suggest he move that. And then I'll just say, oh, no, you better not. You probably can't do it. He'll do it. I know. Reverse psychology. Being passive aggressive, I know. Well, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get shit done. The only thing I ask him to do are the cat boxes and the trash and break up cardboard for the recycling. Everything else I do. So, I'm gonna try to milk a little. And he can use the exercise. And he said he wanted to help me in the garden this year and with the chickens more. So, we'll see how that goes. So, today, I don't know where Miss Thing is. Oh, she's in there. She laid her egg this morning back in there. So I put some nesting material in there. I took the old uh, bedding out. That needs to get, be shook out and taken to a, to be washed. They're just old fleece pajama pants that don't fit anymore. And I save them and I use them for bedding for cats. So, uh, to For the winter and the outside uh, cat cubbies, which I have several. But she can get in there and get out of the rain if she wants. But he was in there earlier, and I saw his head sticking out. And I'm like, hmm. So I looked really close out the window, and I saw some white back here in the back. So I got ready to pull off all those, uh, the uh, uh, raincoats. And then it started blowing and raining. So I thought, you know what? I'll just leave it a little bit to keep help anything. But because... Chaos does like to sleep in there in the summer because it gets good airflow, but I do have to rig some sort of rain protection over it if he is. I'm gonna get a smaller carrier for taking him to the vet because that's just so big. It's it's just too big. It's you know big enough for two, three cats. But so here these oh, brats are. Yeah, Daddy had to go over and steal a bunch of food from the feral kitties next door. I had to call him back. I told him his girlfriend was all alone over here and Cosmo was making advances to the fence and I thought that would work, but you know. Laddie's like, yeah, she's out here. So while I was tearing stuff down and cleaning, doing some work cleaning in there, they were in the shack in the pavilion. It just depends which way the wind's blowing when it's raining. So yeah, I'm going to get, I think three or four bags of sand, um, just uh, builder's grade sand and some other stuff and make that the only human made nest box because it is covered you know it gets rain in the corners and rain can blow in but chickens really don't care and then they've got several nest box got squirrel i'm tired i need to go in and I need a dr pepper i haven't had one today and it's in the afternoon that's it my body's going through dr pepper withdrawal my brain's like we need it we need it i mean i didn't believe that but anyhow so that that will be the only man-made dust bathing area and um, that's covered. And then they have their other places. And then I am going to go ahead and totally clean out the bottom underneath there. I might leave the framework, but nah, I think I'm going to pull it. It's just too, it's too much of a hassle to sweep around it. So I'm going to take out the whole frame work, which is just three-sided there underneath oops sorry there to the right of that pole you see you see that post there that's underneath the coop and to the left of that is another indoor nest box I mean dust bath and they don't use it that much I mean they've used it and they've enjoyed it but yeah so I want to have more airflow more place for them to run around and to have floor space when they are locked in here um, right now I'm gonna stick with my nine I'm really thinking about just holding off on chicks this year. We'll just see. I might, 
I could go into Tractor Supply for something and see them and not be able to contain them. You know, help myself. Which will probably happen. But at least um, it'll be longer before they start laying. No way they'll probably lay before next year. But once they're, you know, they can, with another month, they don't have to stay under the heat lamp. You know, I can just turn it on at night if I need to, but I can bring them and that little brooder out here and set it up. Um, and with that cleaned out underneath there, I have a table I've thought about just bringing out here temporarily and setting the brooder up on it so they're up off the air. Chickens can't really mess with them or peck it near them. And it's easy for me to clean them out and they're not on the ground. But we'll see. You know, uh, they are, Laddie and this girl, I think they are in here now. They got in here earlier when it started raining. So we'll see. I mean, I can always move young chicks out here, you know, put hardware cloth or more chicken wire around it and let them finish, you know, that be their coop and let them grow out out here. But once they're big enough and can tolerate the weather, I want them outside. I'll still handle them, but whether that's in their little um, brooder uh, kennel, which if I leave this out here and I do get chicks, I'm thinking about cutting it in half. I can always double stack it and set the coop, the chick brooder up there. Um, but since these aren't their parents, there's not going to be likely to be anyone to protect them. Anyway, it's getting windy. So we'll see. If That is if I get chicks this year. I got a new brooder heater, but I'm thinking about just dealing with what I got right now. Um, like I said, this winter with pulse stroke and how I've been feeling and the weird weather and wanting to have both gardens, working both gardens this year. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with the chickens I got. I got plenty of eggs and, you know, I can get chickens anytime. But this is where they like to dust bathe. That's Laddie and a... You can see there's a couple little body imprints there. One there, one there, so... They've been death bathing today, but yeah, they got up in there, and so I put both their feed. Their feed was hanging over here under the eave of the, over here by the gate, under the eave of the big coop, but the rain, anything we get tonight, is going to be coming from this way, so I put their food in there, and I lowered their walls a bit. Um, since this is the east, and that's the way the rain's coming, I put it down further. I left the one on the west open, and... They might get in the tree tonight, but if it starts raining enough, they'll probably go ahead and get up in the coop and not bother getting up in the tree. So I'm hoping at bedtime it is raining. So I'm going to stop rambling. Um, Got to go in, do some things, relax, and uh, have my doc Dr. Pepper. I hope everyone's doing well. And yes, more rain. It's supposed to be today. It wasn't supposed to start till about 6 p.m. It's a little after 2 now. Eastern time. I think it's about 2.30 probably. And it wasn't supposed to start till 6 or 7 and it rain through the night and all day tomorrow. Starting a bit early. So I got my crows out there. People say what helps deter. I have found I do like to have I did have four of them but having a few crows even in a little group because crows will attack a hawk in a group. You know they will harass a hawk as a group so um, I did have one mounted up there at one time and I may have put one back, but you know, it can't hurt the chickens every now and then will go up and kick one of them, but knock them over. But so there's everyone that's in the pavilion. Everyone's doing good. Got wildflowers planted. Um, I have a little wire fence to go around it just to kind of help keep things in. I'm thinking that it might deter the chickens now. So I had these, uh, this is a one by 10 and this is like one by eight. So I just have, you know, positioned them up there as a bit of a deterrent. They went in there bad enough, they can jump in there, but I really heavily filled that with wildflowers. <clears throat> and I may come sprinkle another one of the mixes out here. I've got a lot of extra, so we'll see. We'll see if we can keep her out of it. And if worst case scenario, I might've said this earlier in the video, but I think that was in the video, the whole video that I, filmed and never put the record button on yeah so i do have some or if i don't have any left I'll, i have some mesh where i can 
you know, drape something over that so that she can't get in there and dig things out. But we'll see. We shall see. So anyway, it's raining on me. It's been 15 minutes of me rambling. So depending on rain stops Saturday this weekend, I'm going to peel the rest of the uh, vinyl off. Save what I can because I'm going to put a use. I decided I'm going to make a little maybe only two-sided or just like a roof and two sides out there on that pallet. I'm going to put on well, one, the far side of that little pallet is like three, or, it's like a little platform of like three or four boards to cut out in the middle. So where the boards are, I think I'm going to just put a little bit of a, uh, a small, uh, just a little roof, roof over it, you know, two posts in a roof or, you know, four little posts in a roof and I've got some more pallet stuff, so I might end up covering it with the vinyl. Just helps keep the wood from rotting. I don't have to go buy uh, any uh, more plywood. And, you know, just so that they have a place to get under and not have to come all the way up. And just on sunny days, too. They can be out there. They can peck around in the bottom, dig around it, um, and get up under there if they want. So, we'll see. I'm sure they've got more than plenty of stuff to entertain them, but, you know, helicopter moms are. So anyway, you guys have a great weekend. Bye.